we need to read is important, especially in our school with African American male students. As you know, um, reading is one of those things that is valuable to anyone. Uh, amongst our community, it's very, um, it's a known fact that our males do not read at the rate at which we, especially African American males, do not read at the rate in which we believe is appropriate in order for them to excel. Uh, Mr. Street bringing this program to our school is invaluable. Our students have actually um, started to pick up and read books just for fun. No longer is it, um, I'm only going to read what's in class, but now they're reading for fun, which is a good thing. Um, I think that he and this program have added to um, us stopping that old adage that says, if you want to hide something from African Americans, put it in a book. Our students have actually taken on his challenge, and I'm very proud of them, and I appreciate everything that he does for our school. I think it's an incredible program they have going here. You guys are going to have a great opportunity. Y'all just got to make sure that y'all taking advantage of everything that uh, is being presented to you guys and realizing how valuable it is. Um, we're going to find out who read the most books, who turned into summaries to the books they read, who's going to get the NBA lead, and the Plasma TV. It's the last day of school, huh? How many people read books? Who turned in summaries? How many people turned in summaries? Who read more than five books? Who read more than 10 books? Who read more than 15 books? Who read more than 20 books? Who read more than 30 books? Uh oh. So we're about to find out. And the winner is Quintorius Park. Y'all give him a round of applause. We have a total of 50 books. We have a total of 50 books. Congratulations, Rami. Happy holidays. Y'all call it what? That's why they call it Loki. So you didn't know? He didn't know. So y'all got your quick turn. It's a big round of applause. Congratulations now. Miss Paige Johnson wouldn't answer her phone earlier. I was trying to call her. She told me she had two good runner-ups and in Marvin and Daniel. So I'm about to leave and go down to Walters and get you guys a pair of crazy sneakers for being next one of us and we need to read. So before y'all get out of school today, we're going to bring y'all shoes to the home room. So y'all give all the winners a big round of applause. Parts and we need to read meant to me breaking a barrier and changing the cycle of black a young black men not being able to read. It meant to me courage, kindness, and most of all preservance and making a change in our community. That's what it meant to me. So we're gonna make sure you guys are reading these books. It's very important that you read about the things that you like to do, things that you have a passion for things that you're in love with, whether it's video games, whether it's sports, because you may be the best quarterback, but if you can't read the playbook, or if you can't pass the exam to go to the best school to, to take advantage of your athletic ability, you're not going to be able to go to that school. So it's very important you guys are reading. We at Best Academy are so very excited for the Greg Street Reading uh, We Need to Read contest. Um, it has allowed our boys to venture into many uh, different genres of books and to expand their horizon in reading. And we're just excited at Best Academy to um, see our students um, open up books and challenge themselves to be the best because we are the best here at Best Academy.